Yeah, that's terrible, What's going on, man? You you you, you had a hundred thousand dollars from me, man. I'm waiting on it. You know, dang. Anyway, hey man, call me because I'm going to New York. I need money, honey. Call me. How it Bingham. You remember me? Yeah, right. One of the most amazing things that can happen in life is having a friend who sees everything you are and won't let you be anything less. They see the potential in you through their eyes. You start to see yourself the same way, as someone who can make a difference in the world. Well, I have such a friend. His name is Howard Bingham. Some of you may have heard of him or recognize his best friend, Muhammad Ali. Yes, that's right. Howard L. Bingham, who I refer to as the boy wonder and affectionately call the Rook, is my friend. Over the past 40 years, I've had the pleasure of being in the company of one of the most famous people the world has known, Howard Bingham. I've spent many a Friday or Saturday night at his home eating tacos with family and friends. You never knew who might show up, his mother and his father, his in-laws or outlaws as he would say, his nieces, nephews, or some of the neighbor's kids and their friends. Everyone was welcome. His sons Damon and Dustin are best friends with my sons Jason and Joshua. His wife Carolyn is my daughter Portia's godmother. The one thing I admired most about Howard was the love he had for his family. He spent a lot of time away from home, traveling with Mohammed, but always only a phone call away. He was always calling checking on his boys, Damon and Dustin. And when he was at home in town, they were always with him. He took them everywhere he went. What amazed me the most about Howard was that he never seemed to rest. He was always on the go, wheeling and dealing, I stopped by his house and he'd have three phones on at the same time, one in each ear, the other on speaker. He'd be talking with someone on the west coast, east coast, and international at the same time. If you've ever spent time around Howard, you would know he's a class act. No matter who you are, a corporate executive, entertainer, Hollywood socialite, professional athlete, politician, president, or the Pope, Howard never changed. His outlook on life was the same. Treat people the way you want to be treated, as a friend. There was never a dull moment around Howard. He had the uncanny ability to make you feel at ease. And just when you were comfortable, he'd make you the center of attention with one of his jokes. No one could escape his humor. Everybody he came in contact with was at fair game. I called Howard the boy wonder because he and Mohammed were like Batman and Robin, the dynamic duo, traveling around the world fighting injustice. Mohammed was Batman, the fighter. Howard, the boy wonder, the kind-hearted one. To me, Howard represents happiness and the enjoyment of life as to what true friendship is. True friendship multiplies the good in life and divides its evils. Howard is the friend that makes you laugh a little bit louder, puts a brighter smile on your face, and helps you live life a little bit better. One of the greatest gifts of life is friendship. Finding one real friend in a lifetime is good fortune. To keep him is a blessing. I have that friend in Howard Bingham. Some people may say Howard died of a broken heart after losing his son Damon and best friend Mohammed. But I truly believe Howard decided to join them in happiness because he didn't want to be a burden to his loved ones and friends. That's how I choose to remember Howard. When I close my eyes and begin to sleep, the angels on my pillow were there. When my body shut down and I took my last breath, they were there to comfort me and take me home. 
the angel of peace has called home another star. My friend Howard Bingham has passed on to the other side to walk with those who have gone before us. I share his family's sorrow and pain. I miss calling his name and receive no response, but not in vain. Howard, you can rest in peace knowing you've done your part and made the world a better place, sharing your love, kindness, friendship, and photos. We celebrate your going home. It's difficult to let go and say goodbye, but I know how happy Howard is because he is at peace with the Lord. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. My beloved friend Howard Bingham has walked down the road that we all must. The Lord watches over him now, just as he does you and me. Our time is short, no matter how long we have. It's my prayer that we all take time to slow down and spend time with our loved ones and let them know we care. We love you, Howard. Rest in peace. Black beauty. Yeah, right. Whatever. <laughs> no way possible. Okay. Hey, what's going on, dude? Uh, I'm getting ready to go downtown anyway. Yeah. We have a bunch of things coming down there. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get ready so I can get started for tomorrow. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, dude. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, man. Bye.